welcome to Hee Haw! With special guests, Kenny Rogers, Mel Tillis, and Shotgun Red, and starring, Hi, I'm Jimmy. Howdy, I'm Jimmy. And this is pert near the only chance I'm ever going to get to be a ruminating on this topic, so I'm going to go all out. How far out? I don't really have a payoff for that. Wasn't really a setup for a joke or anything. So... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you hear the one about the girl that wore the tight slacks? No! What happened? Well, when she put a dime in her pocket, you could tell if it was heads or tails! <laughs> I'm just old and horny. <laughs> hey, you know what, Grandma? I'm getting homesick! But you're home now! I know, and I'm getting sick of it! <laughs> you know, I hear your girlfriend is a lady carpenter. Yeah! You ought to see her build. <laughs> you know, personally, I feel sorry for a man who can't write see through. <laughs> you know, personally, I feel sorry for a man who can't write see through a woman a cat. <laughs> Ooh, doggy, he just can't get it together, can he? <laughs> You know, personally, I feel sorry for a man who can see right through a woman. He's missing the best parts. <laughs> well, he did it. <laughs> but was it worth it? <laughs> ah, horse apples. Them there jokes should get a darn good canceling by 2021 standards. I think it's time we rethink, take another look, re-examine. Reevaluate? Yeah, well, watch it again. A mostly harmless show from a much simpler time of television. This is the part of the video where I choose not to pigeonhole the people who watched Hee Haw, were represented in Hee Haw, or rule people in general as any one shape or form as problematic. Yes, there was less diversity on TV at this said time, but that doesn't generally make the programming or the time it was made all ugly and evil. I mean, really, it's just some good old jokes from some good old folks. Let's just say we've come a long way and save us a whole lot of clickbait. Cause you know, talk about ugly and evil. You know, I bet that'd make a lot of sense, if only I could understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold up, know when to fold up, know when to walk away, know when to run. So the sound of Hee Haw was also the sound of a normal Saturday night in my house in the 80s, also the weekly Powerball. Hi, I'm Karen Young, and we're ready to pick Kentucky's daily number. Each machine will randomly select the ball number 0 to 9 for tonight's swing three-digit number. You could win straighter box. And here's tonight's winning number. 9. 6. 1. That's 961. Play Kentucky Cash Monday through Saturday. Well, let's bring back those good old-fashioned sounds with this hee-haw clock. This is new, and it's available now. No, seriously, this is brand new. And it's on Amazon. And every hour on the hour, it plays a different clip from Hee Haw. Look, I hung it in my kitchen. Right next to my Jeffrey Dahmer clock. <laughs> well, he's definitely canceled now, ain't he? <laughs> hey, wait now, what's that smell? Hey, Grandpa, what's for supper? Roast beef and baked potatoes and turnip greens and fresh tomatoes and onions, pickles and applesauce and the best cup of coffee you ever came across. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And with that, I'd like to give a good old-fashioned hee-haw salute to those fine folks down in Cornfield County circa 1985. Because that's when I started watching. Well, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone?
has been a Gaylord production from Opryland, USA. Woo!